Hey guys, what's up? This is Speedy D10 here once again with another CFD analysis. Today we're going to be looking at square cell versus tapered fuel cell. So let's take a look. Here we have uh, this blue. This is just a, uh, a turbulence data set for the car just so you can visualize what's going on. But if we look at it, we can see a lot of turbulent air behind the tire here, here, and a little bit, some turbulence right here coming from up under the car and up under the uh, cockpit and then rejoining right here in the middle. So we have this square set or square cell in the car and uh, let's take a, a stream tracer look and see what's going on with the airflow. Now the stream tracer is in speed. So red is high speed, blue is low speed. Now as far as under the car, you want high speed air and you can see that right in here. You can see up under the car, this high speed air coming out of the car. All right, remember we're set at 40 meters a second. So that would be kind of right in here somewhere, a little bit in that yellowish range. So we can see as the air exits up under the car, it's actually converging to the center of the car, majority of it. Some of this right here is converging over here just because of the open area behind the tire and it just naturally wants to fill in this area but one thing that I did notice compared to the square one which I'll show here in a little bit is how this flow stays more attached to the rear of the car there is some turbulence but it's not as bad and I'll show you so you can see here the air ramping up now let's take it away from the uh, right side of the car so we can see more of the left side around the fuel cell. There we go. That's a little better. Let's try this. Nice, very nice. All right, so let's see what we got here. Oh, look at this nice ramp. Nice ramp coming up. That's what you want. You want air coming from under the car to ramp up. There is some turbulence. You can see some right here. Some air has actually made it on top of the fuel cell. Look at this vortice coming out. Coming out from up under the car. And huge vortice. Now look at that. Nice. The vortice is actually starting way down here. Nice huge vortice. That's that's gener generating some downforce. Still some high speed air right here. Then it slows down and rejoins as it rejoins with air on the spoiler. Now, some of the, the air is redirected above the fuel cell. And any of that air that was above it gets very turbulent. Look at this. I mean, you can see it above the cell ramping down. You know, and that's a lot of that's got to do with around the driver's cockpit and uh, how all that's made together. Let's go this side. I'm going to look straight through the rear. Look at that vortice. Huge, consistent vortice. Nice. It's very nice. Man, that's so nice. It's a great shot. And this is looking into the vortice. Pretty much two thirds of the car is turned into a giant vortice. And vortexes happen when high pressure air meets low pressure air. And it's a, uh, a side effect of downforce in most cases. Because you've got one area, whether it's a spuller or a wing or under a car, you got area high pressure meeting area low pressure generating a vortex. You can you can see how these are converging. And you remember we take our stream data away, where these lines are. Right here. It's kind of following this path right here, this non-turbulent path. Nice directed in the center of the car. 
Give me that. Nice. Very nice. All right, let's widen our, our plane out. Apply that. Excuse me. Point five. Now let's try that. There we go. Uh, let's check see what we're looking like in the front. Let's go a little water. Let's try negative point five and two point five. For our width on our stream tracers. Like I said, the stream tracers are in air speed or velocity. There we go. Now look at the air on the side of the car. High speed air. A lot of high speed air. Very nice. All right, let's take a look on top of the car. Very nice. And I mean, that's kind of what you want. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not a diffuser or nothing like that, but it is ramping in the proper way. So let's check out the square fuel cell and uh, let's note some differences and or see if we can see some differences. End of part one tapered cell. <clears throat> All right, so here we have our late model with our square fuel cell. And uh, I want to note before we get into stream tracers, uh, on how the other one, it had a dark blue convergence right here for the, uh, the K-point data. Now, on this one, it's got a big white convergence here. A lot of turbulence generated up here. Look how it swirls. There's almost a swirl right here on the bottom of the car. All right, let's throw our stream tracers up. Same setup uh, up under the car, but I want you to note... This right here, a uh, little maybe a little bit hard to tell, but the right side's fairly the same. But you have this right here in the center, right up under the fuel cell. This this air being directed backwards right here, and uh, let's see if we can fix that. Let's just get right up under the fuel cell. Oh yeah, great view. Look at this. I mean, this air is literally swirling, like not in a vortice counterclockwise of the car, but more so front to back, which is very undesired. I mean, look, just look at this. Look at this madness. It's madness right here. So let's take a look on top of the car. I mean, just all kinds of directions here. I mean, this, this thing is literally coming back to here before it loops back to come join up with the spoiler. A lot of turbulence. Yeah, I mean, look at this turbulence right here. Massive turbulence. Let's take some resolution down. Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, you can see, you know, on the other one, we had it ramping up. 
we had that nice ramp up rejoining with the air coming off the top of your spoiler so it was coming up and then this was ramping over which was what you kind of want now if we go from a side view see we got some of the ramp but then we got this huge turbulent wake right here you can see it affects the uh, the vortex off the back of the car which of course once it leaves this point right here about a foot behind the car it's really no longer affecting the car even though it's behind the car it's still channeling air out a certain way but you can see this right here I mean look at this 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 line right here literally goes up back and then back so it creates a complete swirl back to here and then swirling back up and coming around now if you look at it from the front Let me get my bearings back. There we go. Ooh, too far. No wonder I'm hitting the wrong button. Duh. Uh -huh. All right. So get lined up here. There we go. Oop. There we go. I mean, just look at this dirtiness. It's a decent vortex, but it's just there's a lot going on right here. Let's widen it out. There we go. And you can see that we don't have that fill right in the middle. It's not really ramping up the way you would like it to. Yeah, I mean, I just ain't ramping the way I'd like it to. Let's take another front view here. And you can see the red indicating high-speed air right here. Just not, not clean. It just isn't clean. It's not a huge effect, but... It, there is an effect there. Alright. Let's uh let's go to our car. Yeah, look at this turbulence right here. All this right here is just nastiness. Look at that zigzagging back and forth. It don't know what it wants to do. See it smooths out and then tries to the other one reconverged. They both tried to reconverge back in the center which is what you want all right let's get back to the car let's go to some pr uh pressure data here oh, not for string tracer i want viewpoint data Go and pressure point data for the car. So we got speed for the tracers, air speed, and then we got pressure for the car. Oh yeah, here's a great view. I mean, just look at this zigzagginess, it's turbulence, huge turbulence. No air coming over top of the uh, over top of the uh, fuel cell, but still just very nasty air coming out of that. I 
like I said, remember we had this this ramp up right here. Let me check my scale. Yeah, let me change my scale to 800, 800. So it's consistent, and we know what we're looking at from car to car. Definitely a lighter color in here. A whole lot lighter. Not near as dark as the other one. The other one was more, more of this shade right in here. You can see a little bit of high pressure up under the car too, right up in here. But you can see this low pressure behind the spoiler. Right here where it's just a vacuum. That's indicating some sort of vacuum turbulence right here. And that's kind of what this is indicating, these blue lines. So this is low pressure, low pressure. And it's not a lot of difference from end to end. But more than the uh, tapered cell. Good deal. All right. Well, I hope you guys learned something. And uh, when you're building your next car, maybe it'll influence your choice. Um, remember to like and subscribe if you like what you've seen here. Uh, there's more videos to come. Uh, in the future, I am looking at doing fuel cell angles. And, uh, or not fuel cell angles, but roof angles and uh, some side force stuff with the size of the cars. So remember to like and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks.